Hello! Today we're going to show you how to bust bedrock down in the creek beds. You know, an awful lot of golds wash down these creeks every year and they get stuck in the cracks in the bedrock. So with a simple pry bar and a classifier and a shovel and a bucket, we're going to show you how to get that. So we're out on Chupacabra 5, which is about 7 miles southwest or southeast of uh, Coulterville, California. And we want to show you why we picked this spot and you can see there's a nice slope bedrock here it's on an inside bend uh, when the water's flowing it flows down hits that bedrock and you see the crack underneath this rock that's what we're trying to get to so we're going to take a pry bar we're going to put it underneath that probably prop it up with another little rock and then bust that out you can see we've already taken a big chunk here and um, basically what we use is just a simple little trowel there and uh, you'll see that we'll uh, we'll get down in the dirt here and see if we can show you so what we're doing here is just taking a nice bent pry bar uh, about a five footer and we're trying to bust off those big chunks of bedrock underneath there and you can see Brian uh, has got a hold of the small pieces which really don't contain any gold up on top what we're trying to get to is underneath there you can see he's taking a little bit more care with trying to clean off the material there which since it's on solid bedrock we'll be able to sweep that up we do carry a little paintbrush with us so when we get down to the fine stuff we can sweep that up into you know a small pan or whatever we want but you'll see there's going to be a big chunk come off here and that gets us all the way down into the bottom of that crack and it gets us that good material now with chupacabra 5 it's not traditionally known for really big gold but it is known for quite a bit of uh, fine gold and that's really what we're going to get out of here and you'll see at the end of the video we'll uh, give you guys an idea of what we got out of here it's uh, some pretty good stuff and it's not too bad for just a couple of hours you can see there goes the big chunks of rock and uh, that gets us that whole hole the hole opened and uh, we're pretty much good to go Well, you can see here we're pulling out um, the more quantity of dirt that we got out of that rock and we're just running it through a dry classifier now we're going to lose a little bit of fine gold that sticks to the rocks we're trying to do it the best we can and as quick as we can so we can show you guys uh, basically how we go about busting apart bedrock so um, it obviously would be a lot better if we had a lot of water but we don't uh, we actually have to go downstream to a spring where we're going to eventually pan out our classified material so but this gives you a pretty good understanding we'll see if we can't give you a, a close-up here <clears throat> so here we've kind of zoomed in uh, where that rock actually came from and you can see there's a different color of material that's uh, really a clay layer and the gold will either sit on top of that or it'll sit below it uh, but it's important to get everything out of the, the inside of the cracks, the outside of the cracks, dig it all up. You can see we're just picking and uh, scraping everything away. We'll feed that into our classifier and shake her down and see what we get. So here Brian's actually working a vertical crack that went down um, and it met that rock that we busted out that was kind of flat sitting on top of bedrock. So. Uh, good material and uh, we're going to classify this down you'll see he does do a little bit of a glance in there uh, towards the end to make sure that there's no nuggets um, the, we didn't actually film us panning out the classified material uh, downstream later we kind of incorporated that into our panning video so uh, but we do have a picture of the gold we'll put that up at the end of the video here in just a minute and uh, you can see most of it was just fine stuff but simple little things like this folks just a pry bar a shovel you know a, a scraper or a trowel a uh, classifier and a bucket and a pan and that's really all you need and you can go out and find good gold this is american mining rights check us out at americanminingrights.com